Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay and today we are visiting my favorite cruise port in the Caribbean, Cozumel, Mexico. Today is going to be a real adventure that you absolutely need to see. I'm going to show you a really cool bar that you've never heard of. We're also going to go scuba diving. I have tons and tons of cool video footage that you absolutely need to see. I also rent out a cheap car and take you to a hidden gym on the opposite side of the island. You're also not going to believe what crazy secret information I found about one of the cruise ships that's in port with us while we're in Cozumel, Mexico. Trust me when I say that this is a video you do not want to miss a single second of. Today's video is also sponsored by Touring Plans Travel Agency. Check them out for all your travel needs. Link in the description box below. So cute when she's sleeping. Hey baby. You gotta wake up. We're in Cozumel. I'm so excited. This is without a doubt my favorite cruise port of all time. So like I said, this is my favorite port of all time, not because of its beauty. It is a beautiful place. However, I believe this is the port with the most variety out there. You can find whatever you want for a decent price, whether it be jet skiing, you want to go scuba diving, you want to rent a car. Cozumel is the place to do it. Now I'm going to show you guys around and do some cool stuff. We're going to do scuba diving, go check out a couple bars and uh, we're going to have a great day. So just like that, we are off. We got Odyssey of the Seas and Jewel of the Seas. Now Jewel was supposed to be with us yesterday in Costa Maya, unfortunately due to the wind and it's a smaller ship, they couldn't get into port. Uh, I was able to wake up early in the morning at like 4 a.m. just in time to watch us sailing to Cozumel. Now one thing that they told us is that we should be having masks whenever we get to Cozumel. Nobody out here is gonna be wearing masks. I'm gonna tell you all that right now. They might say something in a store or two, but I seriously doubt it. By the way, as we are now heading into Cozumel, a little tip for everybody. If you get the chance, always take out cash before you get to the ship or get off the ship rather, because whenever you get to, let's say this port that we're at now, this isn't the downtown San Miguel, you have to take a taxi to get to the main area and they only take cash and everywhere else around Mexico, around this area of Cozumel, primarily they're gonna be taking cash and, cash and, and asking for cash. So just a little word of advice. Now here on the Odyssey, there's an ATM located right next to guest services on the Royal Esplanade on uh, deck four. We're gonna do an inspection before we get off. Got the dog here. Oh look, I didn't know they had a Margaritaville here. A Little bit of foreshadowing. Guys, I will be on the first ever sailing for Margaritaville at sea, which will be formally known as Bahamas Paradise, April 30th. Make sure you guys subscribe so you get the notifications and tune in. Guys, you have to meet Woo! this amazing woman. This is Ingrid. Hi guys. So she said she's been watching my channel for a long time. She said for at number one point- Number one fan, crew member number one. Look, she, that's not what she told me. She said at one point she, she almost wrote a letter to let me know how horrible I was. But she said <laughs> little by little the progression started happening and I got better and, and now she's actually, yeah, like she said, a number one fan. Love the, the ship live. We love him. We love our guests. Crew members are loving it. We're so happy and so proud yeah. of you. 100,000 <laughs> followers. We I love appreciate it. it. Look, we're getting to a million. Now guys, just keep in mind, you ever come on Odyssey of the Seas, if you see Ingrid, how long, much longer are you here? I'm Shorex. here until July. July, all right, deck five, right across from Wonderland. All right, make sure you come see her and say hi. Tell her Jay sent you. So Lauren and I have a pretty ambitious goal today. We're gonna try to get a rental car, we're gonna try to scuba dive, we're gonna try to jet ski, and then of course, to show you guys around. And if we can find one, maybe a glass bottom tour. I, I doubt for that last one, but either way, we're, we're going to see how, how close we get. I forgot the name of this port over here, but this is the port away from downtown. I, I really hate being over here because like I said, you got to take a taxi to get to where you're getting to. And it really is a pain. They do have the taxi prices here. Now, if you go down just a little bit, maybe a 10 minute walk down, you can haggle the price a little bit. But if you go by the port, they're not going to budge. Now, to go from the cruise port over to where we're going, No Name Bar, which is right next to downtown, is $10. Now, just to let you guys know, it might be a little hack that we didn't really know about. Because if you say you're going to downtown San Miguel, like the other cruise port in the main part of the island everybody goes to, the, the touristy side, then, well, they're probably going to charge you like 20 bucks. It's just FYI. So we've made it. This is one of my favorite places here in Cozumel. It's called No Name Bar. They got breakfast, lunch, dinner, good Wi-Fi, and uh, there's the dive shop right next to it, which we're gonna go over to. Now, just a little nugget for you guys. Whenever their crew members are off the ship, this is more like a crew bar for everybody, and the, the drinks are pretty cheap, and it's just a good place to be. Here we go. Hey guys, it's not the most beautiful place, but it definitely just has like some sentimental value. These are all the crew members that have 
retired from cruising and basically what they do is turn in their badges here and they can stay on this wall forever. So they have the regular IDs, we have the name tags. I put mine in here, it's around here somewhere, but I'm not gonna try to look for it. So like I said, it's nothing fancy. It's definitely a good place if you wanna hang out with some of the crew members, they all come here. Also, they got this little kind of wall over there, so it kind of creates like this pool-like environment for the ocean, really cool. This is also where they do the training for the scuba diving. Once you guys get comfortable, they just hop you right over that wall and you go out into the deep. I do spend a lot of time in Cozumel. I stay here on and off the ship, and usually when I'm here, I always come over here for breakfast. Like I said, cool little spot. So if we just go right over to the left of No Name, we have Scuba One. This is where I come to dive. Now hopefully they got some slots available. We got six ships here today. So uh, we'll see, I know they're gonna be busy. Anybody here? Yeah. Oh, Juan! How are you? How are you? Guys, this is the man, Mr. Juan. We got the owner Juan over there and they're getting the boats and stuff set up. Now they've already told us they got a pretty busy day. They could possibly fit us in around 2 p.m., which could work out. I mean, the diving was going for about an hour and a half, two hours, so that'll fit us right around the time for us to have to be back on the ship. So they already got one boat out. They're getting ready to take this one out. And yeah, like I said, hopefully later they can squeeze us in because I really, really want to go scuba diving today. Guys, Lately started. these are the legends right here. So this is Juan. He's the owner of the dive shop over here. Look, I'm telling you guys, we're going to have a great day. And trust me, after, after you see what we're gonna go through, you're not gonna wanna go diving anywhere else. Over here in Cozumel, Scuba One is always the choice, always. So we are confirmed for two dives at one o'clock. Oh man, I'm, I'm so excited. Guys, I've been in love with the water my whole life and I was always considered the weird guy by a lot of my friends for telling them that I wanna go scuba diving and I wanna get my certification. But I realize now when you have water that looks as beautiful as this, you, you, you really don't care. By the way, we have the NCL Joy in the house. They were supposed to meet up with us yesterday in Costa Maya, but remember, like I said yesterday, whenever we got there, we were arriving, we saw this ship booking the opposite direction. It was due to the winds and rough waters. They could not dock. Now, when I used to work on board the NCL Escape, same class of ships, by the way, we used to call uh, Costa Maya, Costa Maybe, because maybe we'll go there. So since we just woke up and got literally right off of the ship, Lauren and I are starving. We can't scuba dive and go on an adventure on an empty stomach, so we come here to No Name Bar. Yes, of course, to get some early drinks, but also they have a massive lunch and breakfast menu. And I'm telling you, it's, it's extremely affordable, very, very cheap. You can come here, eat, and, and go on about your merry way. Food just got here. I'm still waiting for my eggs with cheese, but I got a tropical smoothie with some mango, peaches, all kinds of fruit inside of it, pancakes. Lauren, what'd you get? Uh, Lauren got some pancakes and uh, chiquilas? No, chiquilas? Chiquiles. 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 Guys, I've had it before though. It's, it's delicious, but extremely feeling. There's been an update. It turns out that uh, Juan's gonna give us a, an extra experience for today's dive. By that, I mean the dive's gonna be a little bit longer than what we would normally take for what we're paying for. So we're gonna get all the paperwork filled out. We're gonna do the dive first, and fingers crossed we'll have time to do something else. Yeah, I, I had a, like I said, an ambitious goal. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Either way, honestly, the main thing I really wanted to do today was go scuba diving and then start the paperwork to go get certified. And yeah. Anyway, first things first, we gotta get the paperwork done. The thing that nobody likes to do. Well, maybe you do if you're weird. Look, we got wetsuits. Look, so this is what makes it official. Look at Lauren struggling this to get her wetsuit on. on and we'll talk about that <laughs> struggling right now. Jason, are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Just getting... It looks tight. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be. <laughs> Struggling right now. Uh, yeah, well, I'm making it work. Oh, I'm not sure yeah. about it. <laughs> well, I need you to zip me up. Zip her up. Get it in there nice and tight. Ooh. You like when it's nice and yeah. tight. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going scuba diving with the hat on, too. We're going to get in and get her. <laughs> That's Miguel. He's uh, one of the owners, cool guy. Look, so while we're going for our, getting ready to go for our dive, we have to get acclimated with our wetsuits and of course our goggles that are on my head right now because when we go in, there's gonna be water getting into our goggles and we don't want them to get in our eyes and stuff like that. So you wanna get used to being able to uh, either be comfortable with a little bit of water inside, making sure the goggles fit you correctly, and in the event that too much water gets in while you're diving, you know how to push them out correctly. By that I mean push out all the water. So what they're doing right now is getting Lauren fitted with her weights. That way she can sink instead of floating up. All right, great job, Mr. Jeff. Ooh. As tight as you want, and then we will accommodate. How do you feel? 
better than last time. Yeah? You're not scared? We'll see. We'll see. Well, she got real scared last time, but she was a trooper. She fought all the way through to the end until she almost drowned after. What happened? Did the, the water get in your nose? Or? Yeah, the water got in my mouth. Off we go. So now we're going to get acclimated to the water, do some final preparations, and then into the wild we go. <laughs> you have your chest buckle. Once you have done that, you can put the mask on, blow out, start breathing very slowly. Spread the bottle. So far, so good. Right, we're ready to go. Well, Lauren's having a little trouble getting acclimated to the breathing apparatus in the goggles. Just feeling comfortable, but hopefully in a couple of minutes, we should be good to go. Definitely worth it. An unforgettable experience. I can't wait to get certified and I can do this all at once. Are you okay, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Justin, we need your words. What do you think? Oh, that was amazing. Yeah? I need to get certified. I want you so bad. Do you think do you think you will be able to jump from a boat? Yeah. Of course. Well we survived the scuba diving. It was a great time. And in case you guys are wondering, there were no sharks down there, no jellyfish or anything crazy like that. The worst thing that could be down there really in this particular area that we went scuba diving in is maybe some big, gigantic, sharp sea urchins. Don't, don't touch those, don't even go near them, all right? But it was a great experience overall. And also, check this out. I have not seen this place this packed since I was here four years ago. Of course, during the pandemic, this is primarily a crew member spot. Pretty much everybody that you see here is a crew member working on a cruise ship. Now, either they're jerking on the NCL Joy, and there's a couple carnival ships near my ship down that way, but uh, they're, they're the only people that are allowed to get off. If you're working for a Royal Caribbean, you're not allowed to get off the ship, which is mind-blowing to me. It's crazy. So the goal now is to hopefully find a car. We got about two and a half hours left, so we want to make the best of it, take a little stroll around the island before we get back on the ship. Being honest with you guys, Lauren and I are pretty simple. And let's face it, sometimes we can be pretty cheap, especially when it comes to a place like Cozumel. So honestly, I'd be cool with something like this. I'm not exactly sure if we're getting anything like this, but I'd be fine with this going around for an hour or two. A moped, word of advice, if you guys are, are not skilled at driving mopeds, don't do it. Lauren and I almost died one time in this island next to Cancun called Isla Mujeres. Uh, it's not a good thing. Let the locals do that. You found somebody that has a car? What you got for us? Which one, which one is the one he's talking about, Lauren? I was talking about this one. Ooh, okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. That could work for me. By the way, in case you guys were wondering, for the hour and a half, possibly two hour rental car, which we pretty much paid for the day, it was $75. I paid cash and uh, just like that, we got in free and clear. There was no uh, deposit or anything like that. Now that's the difference if you go someplace around, let's say here by No Name Bar, maybe down the street, but you gotta go to the right people because yeah, of course, there are going to be some sketchy people around here, but I, I've also been coming here for a very long time. But if you guys want a quick car that isn't too fancy, honestly, most of these places are pretty legit. And just understand that, well, some of the seatbelts might not work. <laughs> just drive safe. So here I am wandering all over the place in Cozumel, and I meet some really cool people that, that saw my channel before. I guess they said it was, it was decent, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Can't believe we ran into Jay just walking back to the Carnival Vista and, and I said, Frank, is that, is that Jay? Guys, it, it was crazy. So here I am. We're getting ready to get our rental car. And uh, all I hear was, Jay? 
Like, like not sure. And as soon as I look star. up, they, they, they jump up and down. It was crazy. And I jump them down. We all got excited. Like, like we all just ate a bunch of sugar. It was, it was good. It was great. Anyway, guys, look, I always say all the time, if you guys ever see me running around, I'm not a tall man, all right? You got to find me, all right? But I'm probably doing backflips somewhere. Just come talk to me. I'll he's talk tall, your head off. He's a tall guy. Although, right now I am. Uh, I'm my tippy toes. Here it is, guys. This is our car. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. You guys, let me know. Do you think this is worth $75? Just to let you know, just a little, another nugget of information here. We just picked up our rental car. We told them the whole situation that we got to get back to the cruise port. So instead of dropping this car off here where we're picking it up, near like the downtown San Miguel cruise port area that's on this side near the Hooters. They said for $10, we can drop it off at the cruise port. Just give them a ring and let them know we're heading over there. They'll come pick the car up. Not a bad deal. Look at this. They're even taking the top down for us. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go ahead. Throw that thing in there. Let's get moving. Hey, hey. So Lauren's going to drive first. They're asking her if she knows how to drive manual. <laughs> we told them she's European. <laughs> So I'll be honest with you guys, I am a little disappointed and sad. I was hoping we'd have more time, but unfortunately, well, that's the uh, sad part. And being unfortunately, on a yeah, being on a cruise ship, guys, I, I always say it, cruises are nice when you want a no hassle way of travel, but when you want to spend time somewhere, like in, instead of just getting like a taste test, cruising ain't the way to go. Hey, look, it's our ship. Yeah, we'll see you in a little while. And over here we have the ship, Odyssey of the Seas. We'll see you in an hour and some change, something like that. You guys see this place, Atlantis? This is the only place in all of Cozumel that has a submarine. I think next time I come here, I'm definitely jumping on that. I've never been on a submarine before. I'm starting to think we should have got a scooter. Guys, look at all this traffic. Ah. <sighs> There's a certain place I want to show you, but I don't know if we're going to make it. Also, I do got to say, even though there's a lot of traffic right now, it is nice to see Cozumel so packed. If you guys remember, for those that have been sticking around for the past, I'm going to say, year, I was here before the cruise ships came back, and it was dead. I mean, like, dead. Super, super dead. Nobody out here. No traffic. No nothing. It's so hot. Now, first of all, we went scuba diving earlier. I'm extremely dehydrated. And guess what Lauren did? She bought her own self a bottle of water. Didn't even think about me. Justin, you she, were away from me. It, it doesn't matter. People. I'm dying now. Yeah. Well, die, where's the, where's, die in silence. I thought you loved me. Die in silence. Just to give you guys a little point of reference, right now, this way that we're headed is the same way you would go to if you were going to go to like a Mr. Sancho's. But we're going a little past that. I'll never understand why everybody thinks that Mr. Sancho's is the only thing to go do while you're in Cozumel. Guys, stop doing that. Hey, look, it's Chanakanaba. Something that like that. I, I heard it's a, place, it's, it's a place that everybody likes. Beautiful park, apparently. Right here, we got Paradise Beach. I know this is a popular spot for all of you guys. I have not been yet. I think I gotta check it out at some point. We made it to Rasta's. It's a reggae bar, guys. It's, it's amazing. I love it. This place is definitely a, a true hidden gem. And the drinks are amazing. So this Rasta bar is located right next to the Punta Sur Beach Park. I haven't been over there yet, but I have, however, been over here. So there's like two sides to this area. Now, apparently they're two different bars, but they're, I guess, have the same owner or something like that. I don't know the actual origin story, but I'm telling you, the drinks here are amazing. It's a beautiful place to relax with a beautiful view. I am thirsty. I need a drink with alcohol in it. It's a cool spot, guys. Really, really beautiful. The food's good here too, but mainly the drinks and the views, which I'll show you in a minute. Look at this out here. Yep, just like I remembered it. Now, the first time I came out here was a year ago, and I didn't want to leave. Look at this out here. Now, let's be fair, this is beautiful, but trust me when I tell you, you do not want to try to go swimming in this water. Those rocks are ridiculously sharp, and those waves are extremely non-forgiving. I've tried it. I gotta be honest with you guys, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, most beautiful looking place, but trust me when I tell you it's a good time. Chill vibes and good people, good drinks, and sharp rocks and waves. This looks delicious. Lauren, what is this? It's a coco mango colada. You know we have coco colada? mango colada, yeah, yeah. But that's the same thing with the real coconut and uh, mango. Okay, thank you. 
you, you look like a lobster, by the way. Uh, look how red she is. Oh yeah, I forgot they give you massages over here too if you want them. I don't know where the masseuse is right now, but they're usually here. I could literally just stay here all day and take a nice little nap. But unfortunately, guys, we have to get ready to head back all the way to the ship because, well, we don't want to get left. Always remember, don't, don't try to chance it and get to a point to where you're saying, well, the ship leaves at 4.30, 5.30, and you try to get there at that time because, well, it's just not worth the risk. Well, I hate to leave, but unfortunately, like I said, this is a problem when it comes to cruising. If you want to stay somewhere longer than a couple hours, and cruising just doesn't cut it as much as I love it. I'm going to head back, guys. If you do want to see more of Cosmo, I did come here not on a cruise ship. I stayed here for days. I did a tour of the entire island, all the bars and, and restaurants and downtown San Miguel, scuba diving, all that stuff. I'll put it up here in the area where I'm pointing at, somewhere in that general vicinity if you want to check out the full video. See, that Lauren won't let me drive. I'm the woman of the experience. <laughs> back to the ship. We made it back just in time. We still got about 30 minutes until the ship leaves or where it's all aboard. Ship's not leaving, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so guys, if you get a chance, check out Tropical Rental. They hooked us up. We had a great time. They were quick, smooth, and they let us drop our rental car off at the ship as opposed to going all the way back town, back downtown. So uh, make sure you guys check them out. Tropical Rental. And back we go. <laughs> you know, even when I worked on board ships, we never came into this entrance. The only time I remember coming over here is when I met Kyle and Jojo. And just like that, we're done here in Cozumel. You know, I swear, I could stay in Cozumel for months and never get bored. I love this place so much. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got three carnival ships in port today with us. The Carnival Paradise, the Carnival Vista, and the Carnival Dream. Now, I have not been on any of these ships, but I'm assuming at this point, I'll probably get on them at some point. But what I really want to talk to you guys about is, of course, Odyssey looking beautiful, but we got to talk about Jewel of the Seas. You won't believe what I found out. So, this is no ordinary cruise, ladies and gentlemen. This here, well, this particular sailing that's going on is a swingers cruise. And I heard they've been getting down and dirty. A crew member that I met over at No Name Bar, which obviously I won't tell you their name, though they'll remain uh, anonymous. They said there are 70 year old people that are doing it on the little deck. Well, they're hiding it, of course, but it's, it's obvious what's going down. Swingers cruise right here on Jewel of the Seas. The coolest woman on the ship, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Ingrid! So guys, believe it or not, I do get tired from time to time and I must rest my weary eyes. Cozumel was absolutely amazing and uh, they got a bunch of other things that I wanna show you. So we're gonna wrap this video up and we'll save everything up for the next video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And just know that I appreciate every single one of you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comment box below. And make sure you check out our official travel partner, Touring Plans. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.